Hello there! Welcome to Tekken Cash. So today we have a live commentary for a wingspan regular game, I guess, regular ELO game against a regular player on the tournament server, G's the Beast. So it should be a fun game. So let me send a random game here. All right, look like I'm going second. <laughs> and yep that's already a raven in the tray and i'm going second so this is going to be a fun one so we're going to be playing with the house rule that means the raven and the power four birds like kill deer franklin's go cannot be played until round two so that is going to help a little bit but i'm gonna need some good card to really counter this raven here so if the raven you can discard one eight for two food is one of the stronger strongest bird that you can play in the grassland because you activate it and then you can gain food and eggs at the same time and then for the end of round goals, I guess they're manageable. They're not super X heavy. Um, sometime with X heavy end of round goal, it can really benefit like a Raven, Grassland Raven, because you are laying X by default. So you're gaining a bunch of X that help you to score end of round goals. In this case, really only the first one and the second for for birds with eggs in platform. Um, nothing else in the tray that I really want, but we'll see. Ooh, look at this. Ah, this is quite good. Um, so this is going to be an interesting game. So I have the white sword, which again, I can play in the grassland, grassland and gain food. Um, so that's going to be quite good. And then what else? An omnivore even. I mean, look at this. That's a really strong start. So now I don't feel as bad. Let's look at what G's kept. So G's kept two birds. My opponent kept two birds. So they're going to pick up the raven. Um, yeah, I think without any questions, I think I'm going to go with the white stork and hummingbird here. Really, the question is, Again, this this is going to be an interesting start because the question is really, do I play the hummingbird in the grassland or do I play it in the in the wetland? So if I play in the wetland, it kind of worked because that means I can gain eggs and then gain card with the white stork and then also gain food with my hummingbird. The only trouble is like I'm I'm going to fill up with eggs very very fast so i feel like in some way playing the hummingbird in the forest is kind of more sustainable because then i can gain food like i can gain extra food um and play more birds again let's let's take a look at this if i play a hummingbird lay eggs and then play stork i can really gain i can I can play stork and then lay eggs once more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play it in the in the forest um, and try that out. And the omnivore is so nice because like now I get extra two points for each bird that I play. Um, so yeah, I think Jesus is gonna be quite surprised to see me playing a forest hummingbird here. Um, but yeah. At least now, yeah, I, I, I think I like the forest hummingbird here, just so that I have some guarantee um, forest here. Okay, G's pick up the Galenew, which is kind of smart. I think, like, G's anticipated that I'll be giving out free food, so, um, so they pick up the big point birds there, so quite nice. In that case, I think I want to pick up. Um, 
I'll just pick up the rodent. That's what G's need. And I think I'm going to pick up the grain as well. Um, yeah, I mean, quite happy with my start here, but obviously it's going to come down to what card I can find with my white stork here. Um, but even just then, like having this two birds play I already have what, like 16 bird points, which is quite strong for round one. Um, so, and G's play the red start. Okay. That's also interesting. That's another strong start for the forest. So you get to gain one fruit from the bird feeder. So G's is going to have a strong forest. Um, and I don't mind if, if. If G already has a strong forest and like give them some extra food, um, that's reasonable. All right, the the first draw is gonna be quite important. At least I'll get two chance. Like I have four egg spots, so I can lay it twice and refresh the tray. Yeah. I think I think everyone who has played the European expansion can recognize how strong the white stork is. Again, it's big point birds. You play in the grassland and you get to see up to three cards and draw new cards. Um, really, the the you know that there's definitely a lot of debate whether like is it as strong as the power four birds like the raven or the kill deer, or should it be house rule? Um, again, being able to play in turn one is so strong. All right, um, nothing really that I want to play. These are quite expensive. So I'm looking for cheap bird that I can play, you know, fast. Um, so, but at least I'm looking at the goldfinch. Um, that's always a good bird to have. Oh, but look at that, snow bunting. Um, snow... I, I think G's definitely will pick up the snow bunting. So it's the pink power that allows you to tug card and draw card when your opponent tugs. So your game point and cycle card, that's quite strong. Well, the goldfinch is similar power, but when your opponent tug, you only tug one card from the deck. So it's only a passive points gaining bird. Um, so it's definitely not as good as the bunting. And the bunting is easier to play as well for two food. Um, I'll be interesting to see if G's is gonna pick that up. G's did spend quite a few turn picking up birds, so that that definitely kind of slowed them down a little bit. So I think they're contemplating whether to spend another turn just to draw a card, and they decided not to. That's interesting. Um, I think. It, I think it kind of makes sense as well. Um, seeing that, you know, I'm running white store, even if I have a tugging bird, I won't be able to run it too much. So, um, yeah, I think it's not the worst, but typically people would pick up the bunting because it's quite good. Um, in that case, I think I will have to refresh the tray one more because I did not really get the card that I really want. Um, let's see. Okay, they're quite terrible, but at least the wobbler is big point. So we'll see how that worked out. Cast and Finch, all right. I think preferably I want to play the Go Finch because it has more egg spots than the wobbler. But we'll re-roll and see um, what the what the feeder looks like. Okay, it looks like G's might try to compete for this end of round goals by laying X twice. Um, all right, so we do have. We do have cherry and grain but again i won't be able to play the goldfinch so 
I think I'll have to go with the um playing the wobbler here. And then just kind of extend some egg spots and then try to draw more cards. Um, I think eventually the, the goldfinch is quite nice. Uh, purple galleon, okay, there you go. So at most they, I guess, I guess they can still win this end of round if they lay eggs and spend one food. Um, I think I'm just going to play. Play my wobbler here. So G still need one more food to play the Raven. Um, they're probably hoping to gain that one food from my Hummingbird. But we'll see. Let's see. Legs, three eggs. Yeah, there you go. Trying to win the end of round go here. Um, in that case, do I want to refresh the tray or gain food? Um... I think I'll refresh the tray and see what else I can get. Ooh, I got a raven too. That's very nice. Um, all right, that that helps. So now I can run the grassland with raven to gain food and white stroke to gain card. So that's going to be a really strong grassland there. Um, that's also Junko. I feel like G's my one that Junko, but um, I have the Goldfinch here, so I'm not too worried about the Junko um, if G's want to do that. So maybe I'll let G's has the Junko and focus on setting up my Grassland here. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll gain one more food so that they can help me to play birds. At the same time, G's will have to pick food again to play their raven, so I'm not too worried. Um, so... Yeah, right now, G's has quite, quite, quite a bit of big point birds on the board, so I think we're pretty equal. And then G's is going to have the raven. Um, but I think I do like my setup a little bit more because of the Raven and Sword combo. That's quite that's quite effective. That I can gain eggs and then discard egg for food and then use the stroke to gain cards. Um, and the Goldfinch I like because um, it has a lot of egg spots. And the Raven is omnivore as well. So I score additional two points for Raven. So... Um, I, I quite like my setup here, but we'll see. So, G's did not pick up that Junko here. And I got a free card, let's see. Bob Boy. I think maybe? I'm not sure if I need more eggs, but... Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to pick up quite a bit of tempo here, but G's would have to go back to forest to pick up that one food to play that raven, so that's going to slow them down a little bit. Yeah. Um, while I can keep digging for cards. All right. If nothing comes up, I'm going to play the Goldfinch to get more egg spots. So let's see. Uh, what do I want? I think the Goshawk maybe. Because... 
that might help with this end of round goal here, so... All right, so yeah, I think the God's Talk can help again if I if I cannot find you swoop bird that one. But G's also pick up all the all the platform bird. All right, I got one more card. Yeah, especially if I get free card, it might not be too hard for me to play the God's Talk. Um, I like the Kinglet because it helped me to extend my force and give me extra eight spots. So. I think what I'm gonna do now is to play the Goldfinch and yeah, to gain more X spots and continue to extend my to dig for cards. So now I can at least dig for like a few times. Yeah, I would say things, things are going pretty well. Let's look at the end of round go here. So, Jeez is going to play the Raven, and they have other platform bird. I think I think my opponent is going to catch up on end of round go here. So, they won first, and looks like they're going to get the second one as well. Um, and if they manage it well, even the third one. So, they, they definitely have a good lead on end of round go here. So, that's something to watch out for. Um, I just have to continue to build up my tempo here. All right, let's see. Okay, cowbird. Do I want the cowbird? Or do I want the osprey? Uh, I think I'll just take the cowbird. <sighs> Should I play the cowbird? I mean, it's not great because I'm going to run off egg spots if I play the cowbird. Especially the cowbird doesn't have any egg spots on it. Um, but it might be a good counter to, the, to my opponent grassland here. All right, let's see. Okay. So I think my opponent can play another platform bird and then lay eggs to win the end of round go here. Um, or I can make it a little bit more difficult for them by playing my goshawk. So I have three. So that forces them to lay eggs but they cannot spend eggs or if they spend egg they're gonna lose on the end of round go here so um so yeah the plan is either to play birds or play the cow bird i think i kind of like the cow bird um I think, yeah, this is early game, and if I extend this, I'll have some egg spots, though. Let, let's just go with the cowbird here. I think this was, the, at least this would really counter any strong grassland here. Um, it would, like with the goldfinch and cowbird, it would be really hard for G's to play any strong grassland engine here. So, all right, they're gonna win this end of round, which is fine. I will continue to dig for cards. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, do I want the blackbird for omnivore? Or the hog at least is big points. Um, yeah, I'll take the big points. Oh, the great horn owl is quite nice too. Well, 
Yeah, again, uh, I already regret playing the <laughs> the the cow break here because again, like I I I'm gonna run off X space like right now, but it's all right. Oh, the 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 eastern blue would would have been so nice, um, because it has so many X spots. But again, the thing about waste torque is because you have to refresh the tray and pick up bird from the tray. So if there's anything good in the in the in the tray, you cannot really get it. So alright, looks like they play another big point birds. And yeah. I think I'm just gonna play my birds here to extend my egg spots. Um Alright, sorry birds. Yep. Yeah, managing the egg spots here now is gonna be problematic. Especially for the for the la for the third end of round. Looks like I'm gonna be losing that one as well. So she's already got three end of round goal, so there's some significant point leads there. I really need to dig for some good cards here. And I get some free food, I assume. Yep. Alright. All right, what would I need? I'll just pick. let's go. Ooh, Bonalis. <laughs> Don't even know if I can afford to play Bonalis here because again, you only have one egg spot and I'm not gaining a lot of cards, but I'll have to take it. Yeah, that cowbird. No, nah, the more I look at it, the more. <laughs> I kind of regret playing it. The point is nice, but now, yeah, it's gonna make make it kind of hard for me to manage all the aches. I'm hoping that G's would activate the wetland and help me to gain some cards here. Um, that might help. And that's another advantage with the white stork. Um, you refresh the tray and pick up a bird, but your opponent has no idea what bird you pick up. So, um, all right, pair of chicken. Yeah, she's going for the big point here. Quite nice. And again, with the end of round goes, it's working quite well. Okay, I really need another bird that can play here. So maybe I'll pick a Rodent in case I need to spend Rodent to play the Banalis. What do we have? Bush Tit or Woodpecker for bonus card? Yeah, I'll take it. Even though Bush Tit has a lot of egg spots, but um, I, I think I'd rather take the Woodpecker here. Yeah, I mean, this is quite tough. Like, I keep getting birds that I can play. That means I don't have extra card to tuck on the Banali's Ego. So I might just end up paying the Banali's with um, Rodin. Okay. Yeah, definitely Jesus winning the end of round go here, no questions. All right, we grub. All right, let's see. Hopefully, good bonus card. Let's go. What do we have? Behavior is um, large bird. So I get large bird. I can score at least three points. I'll take it. Behavioral is is kind of tough when you have it in late game. Even though you know I could potentially score that. But it, it will take some gambling. So I think I'll take the safe four points here. And all right. Let's 
Let's see, common loon, okay. I guess it's for that bonus card. Um, because the power is really useless for G's because I have no birds in the wetland. All right, lots of big point birds for G's. I'm just gonna continue to uh, look for birds here. All right, come on. Ooh, who the crow? Yeah, I'll take it. It is big bird. Um, so the Huda Crow, you can tuck cards and based on how many times your opponent activate the, their grassland, but I don't think I can really make good use of this because I don't really have cards that I want to tuck here. I'm definitely not tucking banalis, so really hoping G's would pick up cards here and give me free cards. That would be really nice. But it looks like they're laying eggs, okay. All right, Rodan. Um, so if I lay eggs, I'm gonna miss out on End of Round goes here. Or if I play the Who the Crow, I can extend my Grassland for a little bit. Or should I play the Banalis now? That's another way to go. So either play the Who the Crow or play the Banalis now. Let's see. The Who the Crow, it will be one points, maybe a few points next turn. Oh, this is a tough call. Uh, especially I'm not going to get any tuck this turn, so... Should I play the Who the Crow or do I play Banalis now? And then kick the problem down. Um, realistically, yeah, I don't think the crow is going to work out. Because next turn, even if I gain card, I'm going to use it for banalis. So I would never really have cards to tuck on the crow. So I think I'm going to play the banalis now. And I'm I'm gonna play in the gra in the wetland in case I got the another big point birds in the grassland I can play it. Um, let's say I'm gonna tuck one card. Okay, still a solid nine points. So all right, three and a round. That's quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now here's interesting. So there's big point birds in the grassland or in the in the tray that I can pick up and play. I think I should do that instead of gambling with my white stork here um, because now I can pick up two cards. So I think I'm going to do that. And I have all the food that I can use to play. So I think this worked out quite well. Oh, look at that. Trumpet to Swan, that's quite nice. And let's see. Uh, let's see. So, yeah. I mean, I, I would assume G's probably run off run off cards to play now so i would think they have to go back to the wetland but i'm not sure um i think those two are pretty good pick up here because i can play those two if i can play another big birds then um that that swan was so good because it was big bird and omnivore all right sparrow not so much but now yeah i can play Free up some egg spots here. Ooh, that's rough. Okay. Maybe I can score bird feeder. I'm not sure. 
Or should I go with the fishery manager? Yeah, let's do fishery because I haven't seen any big point fish bonus card. Maybe I'll gain one of those, but that was quite unfortunate. Um, yeah, if I if I can get the 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 wood stork, that would be omnivore and big big bird and fishery manager. That would be huge. So putting out energy there. Um, but yeah, this this is gonna work out quite well. So I lay once and then play eagle and then legs again. Um, that should be the end of the game. Hopefully, play one more bird. Oh. Cooper Hawks, that's interesting. Okay, maybe Jesus Rodentologist. Not sure. Okay, do I want to spend one food here? Yeah, I guess I can. Alright, let's see. All right, what do we have? Um, so I'm looking at the Avocet. The Avocet is Big Bird. Um, or oh, I might not play any bird. Or oh, the Montague Harrier. I don't think that's anything I really want to play the Montague Harrier on, so... Um, yeah, it might just be play bird and lay eggs. That's about it. I think it's going to be quite a tight game. Like I, I did, I did bust one bonus card. I have some big point birds, but so does G's and G's has three end of rounds. So I think it's going to be tight, but we'll see. All right. All right, free eggs, I'll take it. And the fish that I don't need, yeah. All right. Seven points and then another turns. Now I have extra cards, like, I wish I could have delayed the, the Banalis there. Maybe that was some misplay with the Banalis. I should hold on to that Banalis and play that, um, what was that? Yeah, maybe that was some points that I missed there by playing the Banalis early. Yep, Trumpet's a swan. No surprise they're gonna lay eggs. Or they're gonna play another bird to try to tie the end of round goals, right? I think. Yeah, they probably have another birds they can play. Um, so yeah, this is interesting. Alright. And yeah, we have loved the egret earlier, but this is what it is. Yeah, if I have the egret and the the Golden Eagle, I could have scored Fishery Manager and also score additional three points for Lodge Bird. So that would have been quite good, but we'll see if this is enough. I do have quite a bit of eggs, so um, so hopefully that eggs is enough to make up the points that I lost from end of round. I think we should have equal bird points here looking at the board. Um, even though I missed one bonus card, um, I think nine points for three bonus cards. It's not great, but it's still kind of average. Yeah, it looks like G's play another bird to tie the end of round. So we will see. Pretty sure G's, oh, my opponent has the Rodentologist here. So they should score pretty well with that bonus. But wow, look at this. 60 bird points for both of us. Quite tight. Wow, look at that. 18 point bonus card. That's really strong. <sighs> Yeah, this looks kind of rough. Like, I don't know if that's enough. Like, I might have a few tuck. Come on. Ooh, look at that. Such a close game. What bonus card the opponent has? That was a very nice game. Let's take a look. 
uh, Enclosure Builder, Falconer, and Rodentologies. I mean, look at this. Falconer, Rodentologies, 14 points from two bonus cards. That was really good. That brought it really tight. Um, but yeah, I would say overall good game. Like, you know, um, I think I, I got really lucky with the White Stork and Raven combo here. Um, um, I like that. I like the forest hummingbird. Typically, you don't want to play the hummingbird in the forest because you're just gaining extra food. It's better in the grassland and the wetland. Um, but having the hummingbird in the in the forest really helped me to play some of the bird early game and extend my egg spots. So that was quite nice. The cowbird, I wasn't sure it was really worth it. Like I, I really give up on a lot of play because of the cowbird and I'm running off egg spots. But with that being said, I did get quite a few eggs from the cowbird. So the cowbird did worth, you know, quite a few points at the end of the game. So that was quite good. Um, and then it was a good decision to use my wetland to pick up the eagle and long spur in round four instead of using my white stork to gamble. So yeah, it works out quite well, a tight game. And again, good play by G's here. Um, Raven strong start and really went with the big points play here knowing that I have the cowbird. So um, that worked out quite well for them and brought the game really close. With that being said, that, that was the game. Like, you know, I, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.